how to integrate custom forms in Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can integrate custom forms into Shopify. So let's jump right in. Now there are two ways to do this. You can either do this with a third-party plugin on Shopify, or you can use a Google form to add your own custom form. So let's jump right in. Now, the first way to do this is to go into Google Forms and then click on Go to Forms. And you're just going to log in with your standard Google account and you can click on Blank Form over here. Now I can build my own custom form. Let's say this is going to be our customer feedback form. So I'll create this and then I can add our question. So I will add, how was your online store experience with us question mark and then we can add our different options good bad and then this is not going to be on a linear scale this is going to be from a multiple choice question so our first option is going to be good bad all right like this and after that we can make this a required field for our customer feedback then after that, I can go on ahead and add another section. Now I can add our second section asking about, you know, more questions. We can, you know, just add or include another question. So we can click on add question over here. And from here, we can import questions as well. If you already have a list, you can add titles, descriptions, include images, videos as well. Now let's say my second question uh, with us. I'm going to write us. Now after that, our second question might be, how do you want us to improve our store question mark and then this is going to be a short answer or a paragraph over here and i'll make this required as well now once i've done this so i can build my form i can customize this by including images from my store as well so if i want i can click on browse and upload my product image or just any image that is going to you know make my form look a bit more cohesive with my overall brand aesthetic for my store and then i can click on send on the top right now i want to collect email addresses and i am simply just going to click on send click on the link option or you can click on the embed html copy this html over here and you will see the width and size if you want you can actually make this larger or smaller but i just like to go with the standard size and copy the html then go into shopify and then go into online store on the left once you go into online store on the left you're simply going to click on customize and then choose the page where you want to insert your custom form in I want to insert it directly in my homepage on Shopify. So I'll click on add section on the bottom and you will see this option for custom liquid. Once you see the option for custom liquid, paste in the code from Google Forms and your form will now be integrated. And you can choose to place it directly in any section. So you can move this up by holding it by these dots and I can move that to the top. If you want, you can build a completely separate page for your form or your custom form on Shopify as well and include it in the menu bar over here. So for that, you can easily just go ahead and click on exit, click on pages over here, and then you can click on add page and then add a page called feedback like this. And once you go into your feedback page, you can click on show HTML or you can just click on over here where you're able to add HTML and you can paste in the HTML and then click on save. Sometimes this works properly, but sometimes Shopify does have some glitches with this. And then you can click on view page over here to see whether the HTML code is working properly, but and it is displaying our form directly and we have a separate page. And to add this into our navigation menu, we can go into navigation under online store. Once you go into navigation, click on main menu, then click on add menu item, and then name it feedback form. 
then go into the search or paste link and then go into pages. Under pages, you will find your feedback page and then click on add. Click on save on the top right. And now if I go into my dashboard over here and I refresh my pages, I should be able to see the new menu taking effect in my Shopify store. Now, the alternative way to build custom forms directly from Shopify is to go into settings on the bottom left. Once you go into settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels on the left. Then open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, you're going to search for custom forms over here. And once you search for your custom forms, you will see this powerful contact form builder. Now you can use this one or you can even use Shopify forms. There are a bunch of different free options available. Now on this particular application, you can only create one form, but it has 12 different fields that you can add, but it only has 40 uh, submissions that you can collect. So I find it to be a bit limiting for larger stores. For larger stores, you can use things such as the Quickify contact form builder, this is a pretty good one where you have 10 fields per form, but it is not limited to the number of submissions that you can have. So you can have a bunch of different, you know, hundreds and thousands of submissions. Or if your form is going to be rather simple, you can easily use Shopify forms. Click on install over here to install Shopify forms onto your Shopify store to start building customized forms. Now, once this has been installed, you will find it on the left panel and you are going to allow Shopify to complete its installation and then click on create form. Now you can choose the type of form you want to create and this is going to be a inline form and let's say this is going to be my customer design competition like this and then I will click on create. Now I will add a title which is going to be our customer design competition and then below that we have content and this is going to be design a t-shirt print and win hundred dollars worth of merch with us have your design plus 10 percent in profits from sales of your tea design like this from your tea and then after that, I can add a different field such as name, and then I can click on email if I want to collect their last name, phone, birthday, and then I'll click on new field. And this is going to be a file upload. Now for my file upload, this is where the people are going to upload their t-shirt design. And then I'll just click on done. And then over here, they're supposed to submit their t-shirt design. We can add a consent disclaimer and then a success page. And then I can just go on ahead and click on save. Once I have saved this, I can simply go ahead and incorporate this inline form by going into online store and then clicking on customize. And once I go into customize, I can click on add section on the left panel in Shopify like this. And then I can go into apps, click on forms, and this will show you a form section and you can choose the custom form that you want to display. So it says forms over here and I can paste in the form ID to add that into our new section. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.